Then, would you marry me? What's going on here? Mal. Baby toad. Oh. Baby toad. Oh. Jump, you see that? Everything is in the middle of border 360 view. Wow. Well, the the yeah, yeah, that's what it seems like, right? We're passing underneath the bridge. Yep. You underneath the bridge, girl. This is a man you call Lyndon Forbes Sampson Bornham right here, yes. 1923 to 1985. We have our own channel for all always curious. Brand new vlog again. This is a continuation of um, the previous vlog. Right, because it was so long, we don't want to uh, keep you guys bored, I guess. All right, so you gotta watch the first vlog. We just finished eating lunch. The fresh direct place was very nice. Um, guys, we're coming out here. Yeah. Are we coming out? Um, but um, yes, we're going to um. Uh, more, more walking and yes. touring and then we had to go to a sunset cruise so come with us but make sure you check the previous vlog okay so this is um i went to bishop's high school farm one but this is what it is now um on carmichael street bishop's high school my old stamping ground so yeah bishop's high school farm one when i when i went to Anne Lincoln school and i passed common entrance i came to bishop's high school but there is it right behind me right now came by for a quick visit i love you got to be next stop right after the school we got mateo grill y'all come y'all check them out and this is a uh, bishop's high school right here and this babe, babe what school you went to big up to that's right big up to lutron high school and you go take a walk at the cathedral right now Right there, guys, is the um, St. George's Cathedral. It was once the largest wooden it building. Is it is the still? The tallest freestanding wooden church in the world. Right. 145 feet. Really high up, right, right. Wow. Made out of all green hard yeah. wood. I was fortunate to go into this church when, when I was in Bishop's High School. Very big inside. This is a more close up view of the um, cathedral. We can't go in because. Um, it's closed, but I was just told where is this? Um, St. George's High School, right? Right, this was a wooden school, right? Recently got into fire, and this is a new concrete infrastructure. So, I got a brand new school here, right? St. George's High, St. George's High, and right across there is Bishop's High School. And then you have the church right over here. All right, let you go, babe. Next adventure. So, we pass in the high court, so we pass in the high court right here. Uh, we can't stop, but this is Supreme Court of Judiciary, the High Court. Judiciary. Queen Victoria Law Court. So if you are, if you are want your house and land matters, a family me. problem, yes. like being right me, here. Me, me, me gotta go handle my house and land problems. Right, yeah, I'll come in right here, so. And this is for them small claims court. If your neighbor fends over you, fence and anything, yeah, you come by the magistrate for this. And the man, the yeah, and this is where you come, the small court right oh, here. <laughs> And right across from the court is Starbrook Market. Right here, we're gonna take a drive through, I believe, right? Yes. To Starbrook Market. Check this out, this minibus more than passenger here, man. Plenty minibus. I remember Kitty Campbell, this bus, eh? Yeah. I used to go home with it, but yes. And this, where's Demico House? Right here, is so? Right here, yeah. This is Demico House, right here. Going around Demico House. There's a different view of Starbrook Market. Yeah. It's very busy today. If you guys can see, it says they're 1881. That's the year of being. Starbrook Market. Why on the clock? 1881. Starbrook Market. Then you get a Parliament building right here, right next to Starbrook Market. It's very beautiful. So this cathedral is Brick Dam Cathedral. Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. 
This is a this is a concrete one, boy. Yes. Wow. It was said to be built by. So here is the next um, memorial church, Smith Memorial Congregation Church. But uh, Carlos, tell me what, uh, something on this. Yes. Uh, Smith was Reverend John Smith. He was a reverend within the African state who were teaching them Bible story. As you saw from that first monument, which was um, the 1823 monument, you saw the guy with a machete and a cross. That because of Reverend John Smith was teaching them Bible or uh, missionary. They were all missionary. And when that uprising started in, in um, 1823, Reverend John Smith was charged for treason and sent to prison. By the time Queen Victoria would have learned that Reverend John Smith is in the prison and pardoned him, he died in prison oh, two wow. years. So that we get the memory for him as a church and beyond is a school. Right, as right. We roll, we'll see the school and a street also named after him, John Smith Street. And um, the man with the cut losses in our previous vlog, you can check that out also, but that's intertwining to this history right here. And here you have Brigdam Masjid right here. Brigdam Masjid. In the Masjid is play Zakat, but then you get NIS here, so? It's government, um, a different NIS. But this is an NIS building right here. Here's a geriatric home for the older folks. All right. But they got a men's section right here. And we're coming up to the ladies section. Right here. This is the ladies section. Right here. This building right here, right? Yes. Yes, yes. And right next to the Ministry of Labor. Ministry of Labor. This building is uh, the geology of gold mining, Guyana geology, as you can see it. And we're heading into Coffee Monument. Or what's it called? Coffee Square? Coffee, yeah. Coffee Square. Monument. Square. And we call it um, Square. Square of the Revolution and Durban Park. Uh, we're going to go take a walk there now. So here's Coffee Square, 1763. Tell me something more about it. 1763 Monument is the Barbies Uprising. Barbies? Oh, wow. Yes. That's where we from. Okay. Yeah. This was under the Dutch. Under the Dutch administration, this uprising. Wow, man. Coffee was the leader. Coffee was the leader of that uprising. That's why we gave it coffee. But when we had the sculpture to did that mon this monument had no looks like coffee. And our president at that time was President Barnum, named it the 1763 monument. Alright, so this is what it looks like guys. 1763 monument. Fountain. Coffee right here. And what's about a fountain? It is a fountain that's supposed to have water flowing. But it's not really fun. Well, the place is a little hot. The place is a little hot, I guess. So, you know. Here's a little history about the monument um, on the eastern of Brigdam and Visalingen. If you guys can read, I'll do it a little slow. But, babe, this is a coffee monument. Babe, you're like on tour here, right? I know. Yeah, I know. But this is really nice, man. It's like the garden is, nice, you know. Nice area, like yes. Yes. Literally, literally is a square. Beautiful coffee. So that's um, the independent arch, the tree um, arch you see is the tree, uh, the rivers and the counties right there. And it's right opposite coffee. the coffee um, monument. Seventh Street Monument, Coffee Square. So right here is the office of the president. Ministry of Agriculture. And I see Guyana Cricket Board over there. Yes, and then the Botanical Garden. garden. Right. We go into the Botanical Garden right here on the right. We enter in a Botanical Garden right here. And this is the entrance into the Botanical Garden. I like it already how they call it, the paint the trees. And what is this building here? This is uh, Janman Education. Mr. Okay. Chairman was the first superintendent in the Botanical Garden. Okay, okay. The Botanical Garden was existed in, in 1878. We have the first gardener from United Kingdom, John Frederick Wabey. 
and he came in here and bring varieties of plant from England, Asianic, Australia, different trees like royal palms, um, Asianic palm like I was showing you that. that um, and to the left is the zoo, right? Yes, until 1952, they decided to make a zoological section. Okay. I so, see they got manatee sign over there too. Yes, the manatee started in here and then because it's very hard and it's um, for the, the kids to keep more water hyacinths or the water lettuce that they were saying. And you don't have to pay to come in here, no, right? No, it's okay. national. National. Six to six. And the painting and the pink around it is Pink Tobia, representing the breast cancer month. Okay, okay. So, babe, all me life, right? I used to come to excursion. I want to bring babe somewhere. I'm going to show you guys where I'm taking the babe to. Babe, you excited? Babe, babe, walk in there. Oh, babe. Keep it, keep it. Remember we said, oh. we'll keep them and then we'll dispose of right, them. Right. Okay, anyways, let me show you how to take babe to go. Babe, come here, babe. If y'all know, right, this tree called Lawn John, but babe, once more, look, look, helicopter. Let me see how you got helicopter, babe. Let me see something, eh? Watch the helicopter, boy. Once again, babe didn't have no toy, so plant was her toys. We was well off. We had gun, we had car, you know what I mean? Babe, one more time, let me see. Helicopter. Plenty helicopter. <laughs> Anyways, I'm taking babe to the kissing bridge so we can finally kiss off on the famous Guyana kissing bridge in Botanical, in Botanical Garden. How romantic. So we're here at the Botanical Garden kissing bridge. What is that guy? He's going, oh, I'm going to chat to your lip. No. I'm going to check this off, man. Now you go for this off. Come here, you go. Moti. Hey, Moti. You guys sing it, you know, baby. You hear that? And there's Kissing Bridge right here. Moti. You walk in over right. the Kissing Bridge in Guyana. I it's really nice. Asking. Oh, really? You asking me who you came with, as a kid? School tour. School, you sure now? All right. Yeah. This is the Kissing Bridge, guys. <laughs> babe, babe, <laughs> babe, babe, you can't come to the kissing bridge, you can't oh, kiss. Sam. Hey, this is the kissing bridge right there, you see it? <laughs> babe? We're kissing half on the kissing bridge, all right? We just got ourselves a nice ring. From the ring barrier ring right emerald. here. Emerald. Yes. Not, not only um, Carlos is a tour guide. Also a, a matrimonial <laughs> Yes, man. yes. So we, we can... A yes, yes, yes. We're going to renew their wedding vow. <laughs> Right on the kissing bridge, right, right here. I'm gonna bring it to you live. So let me take the let me take the ring. Yeah. And you can hold. Um, you can visit. You, you gotta visit this here now, like this here, yeah. right? Yeah. Make sure you catch it there. What do you bring here? You can go from over there, probably, so you yeah. catch it. Beth, Beth, would you marry me? <laughs> what you going on here? I said. You said yes. 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 Yes, guys, it's all fun. Thanks, Carlos, for my green emerald ring. It's expensive ring, you know. This is the kissing bridge, guys. Love you, babe. Love you. So, babe, tell me you make me stop here so far now. What is this right here? It's a gobi tree. Right. And with the gobi, get, they get bigger, like this big. You cut it in two, scrape it out. Okay. Right? And then it, you could use it as a bowl. Yeah. Or calabash hair cut. Calabash. I could put it up your head and cut. Make a hairstyle. Some of the smaller pouches. Yeah. Oh, wow. They also can carve your your, your face. I can scrape. Oh. A, a well, there you have it, Gobi tree. I haven't seen this since God, like since I was a little kid. See yeah. a Gobi tree. Well, they have Gobi tree in the botanical yeah. garden <laughs> right here. Apparently, wait, wait, you just found. Wait, no. So when I was little, they, they used to people tell us, tell us stay, away. stay away from the Gobi tree because. The fire ass or them Oleg or vampire or vampire. If for you Americans we don't know what a Oleg or uh, fire Oleg. ass is, um, does hang them skin on the gobi tree at night for a sock. Yeah. I know, <laughs> I know plenty. Of... I don't know, guys. Too, I'm here. Let's start praying in the car now. Guys, this is a gobi tree right here. Gobi tree, but then it's all fun. Everything here is in the botanical garden. He found us a jump off, boy. Hmm. Oh. Check this out, right? It's a small baby toad. Oh. Baby toad. Oh. Jump, you see that? Everything oh. is in the botanical garden. <laughs> Everything. 
Miss Babe taking some AC because it's hot right now. It's very hot. So we had this seven pond here. Where is Excellency, I think, Barnum? Um, I guess Barnum was his grave, memorial service. Yes. So right. Yes, yeah, we'll go. We're going in the circle, but it's seven ponds right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one's very, seven. What does it signify to um, well, that Carlos? Was one there that said they make it because of the place of heroes. Okay. Place of the seven pond is a hero pond. So a lot of our hero would have come here and buried. Right, making right. Making this nice little sculpture would have created a beauty. Okay. A, a, a nice. Beauty. I will take you guys to a tour on, you know, the heroes. Babe, uh -huh. we want to make it eight pond now, you know what I mean? So, so there's a bunch of heroes here. There's one over there. Three that run fall. Three that run fall. Mm -hmm. Then you have Martin, Martin Wade Carter, right? Also over here, Sir David James Rose. And you guys can actually see a little bit of what he is. You can Google it also. Across oh, here, oh, he was a British governor. Yeah. Okay. Well, here I know this. I know this. Um, yes, most of you knows um, Desmond Height right here. So this is his um, grave. 1985 to 1990. What? Okay, there you have it. And we're moving along. Then you have Arthur Chung. He was one the president um, in 1972. I wasn't even born yet, but he was born 1918, and he he died. Um, 2008, what is DOD? Date, oh, he died only the other day then? Yeah. Oh, wow. And we're moving along, and over here is um, Forbes Barnum. Baby, Seven Pond, right here. It's Seven Pond, and right across from the Seven Pond, you have um, the memorials. Then you have here, um, the um, Forbes Barnum. We're gonna go take a look. This is a man you call Lyndon Forbes Sampson Bornham right here, 1923 to 1985. I guess when he passed away, right. I was how, how many years old? I won't tell you all. But this is um, his yeah. so, tomb right here. In case you want to see what they Go ahead, tell me. What Mr. Barnum look like? This Actually, is this is how um, he looks like for real. Yeah, this right. is him and he had the, the guy on the National Service which would have teaching the young kids about discipline. Okay. And he would with it. Well, this is a good. It's a good thing. Yes. All right. This is a good thing. Here. All right. And over yeah. here, his um, I guess it's some government yeah. government stuff. Well, Leader the PNC. And what we have here. Chetty, Barnum, but I can't. And Cherry and Bornham and Bornham friend, all them yeah, friends, right, right. Guy from oh wow. But I love how they carve it, it's like similar to yeah, their faces, right? Real, yeah. Oh we have here going on. This Bonham, is yes, Oh wow. This is really nice. You yeah. guys come by, check it out by seven ponds. So right here is a Michi restaurant. But we're taking a walk to the famous border Jarchan Cricket Club. So we're in Georgetown Cricket Club, the clubhouse, border, border ground. The famous border ground, man, border. Big games used to happen here back in the days. Big, big game. This is a clubhouse right here. I'm having a beer, they're having a Banks beer. But a quick stop at border ground. Doing some renovation right now. Can't stop there, babe. Are you having a beer? Uh, Once again, I'm drinking a Banks beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babe, who would believe you in border wrong, babe? Border, border boy. Say what happened, the wedding just over, don't propose. What, babe, sorry. Oh. Right? So Carlos is the pastor, right? <laughs> or the imam, or the, the pandit. Yeah. However, we celebrate the, the wedding yes. in border. Border, right? cricket ground. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers all right? Um, from here, we not, you guys are not going to see um, Carlos no more, but Carlos, thank you so thank much. You. This is well the last man. spot. And Wilderness Explorers. Uh, yes, the whole so team. Discover Guyana. 
Yes, uh, everybody from Discover Guyana, Yannick, Anna Ray. Yes, it's not done yet because we got Kai Trofas to come, we got yeah, Essie Kebo to come. So, cheers right now. Thank you so much. Cheers, for man. Thank yeah. you. I, I just got married. Cheers. Green emerald ring. See? Bam. All right, guys. So you're on a tour aboard the ground, right? Born Guyanese who have played test cricket. Check them out here, right? I know a few names. I know all. I know Fredericks number 23, Kali Charan, Shivna Ryan, Lambert, Sarwan Nagamutu. Hey, my hands are big up yourself. I know the last three there, but there's some stats right here. Uh, Shiv Chandra Paul, yes, yes. Um, Carl, look at Hooper there, right? My bike Carl Hooper right here. But yeah, man, you can see the, the teams, they play too. Oh yeah, Roger Harper, yes, 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 yes. All right, then you have some other statistics over there. And what is this by Test Cricket at Border? All those who have taken 10 wickets or more in a match. You know what? I'm going to test my friend them now. Hold on. Our next score board here. And here's a test match that played at Border. From 1929, 1930, the whole stats right here. So the last game I'm guessing played at um, 2004-05 um, against South Africa, Chandrapal, um, whatever that match was drawn. What's the statistics, you know? Then they got World Cup one day champions right here. All right, we're taking a walk upstairs. Here's one of the big boys. That big boys used to be here, so right? Uh, babe? In border by watching the game here, so but yes, this is border from upstairs. This is the ground right here. A nice little view of border right here. You got a Guyana Cricket Hall of Fame right here. A few names I wasn't I wouldn't know, but CR Brown, RJ Christiani, a lot of names here, man. Clive Lloyd. Basil Butcher, Fredericks, Lance Gibbs, Rowan Kanai, Sir Walcott, Clyde Walcott, to name a few. So this is inside, they have a lot of pictures, you know. But because of the ICC, they kind of like clean it up. Um, the cricket, the World Cup was here. But quite a few pictures. It's one of the big boys used to be, as I said. Um, but yeah, man, it's very nice. A bunch of balls here, I'm not sure what's going on. But yep, yeah, there you have it. I'll be taking a nice tour. Let me show you all border ground. The place is a little wet, right? But this is border right here. There's the old commentator boot. There's border. Check out the feel. That's uh the Ron Kanai stand. And this is the um yeah, in a cricket club. Then big boys used to go here. But this is the feel and what it looks like. They still play matches here, practice matches and them thing. Over there is Amici and that's Queenstown Masjid. Right here. Border ground. In the middle a border 360 view. Very lucky to be here. Middle of the ground. See the picture down there? Right here. Anyways, I got back to drink my little um, rum. They're replacing, they're, they're moving to a new headquarters. So this is the old fire service we just found out. We're on our way to um, Demerara. Um, Omari, this Omari is our second tour guide, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So my uh, um, fans say hi to Omari, and this is the driver, so grim. And we're still on um, the day tour, but we, uh, we go back. Right, go back to the previous vlog to see what we did in the previous vlog. It's, it's the same day. But um, Omar, tell me what we have going on here today. Right, so this evening we're going to be doing a uh, Demerara Sunset Cruise. Uh, right now we're coming up to the Stella to, uh, to board go the on boat. The boat. Uh -huh. And then once we get on the boat, it's going to be a nice relaxing cruise for a couple hours. So it's like a romantic thing going on. Well, I mean, if you want to, if you want to be romantic, then yeah, it will be. <laughs> All right, so that's, a, that's what you're shooting for, Sunset. So we're taking a water taxi. It's gonna be taxi for the um, day. But you cross in the river. Are you ready, babe? 
You can make it, man. She can make it. She can make it. Only water taxi. All right, so we just leaving Stabrook Market by the port. Going on the Sunset Cruise. Right here, and this is Babe right here. That boat is very nice and safe. All the flags out here. And um, safety for us, uh, we wear a life jacket. They got your life jacket on too. So Omari's gonna explain the whole process. He was saying it's about 50 cents US, Correct. which is 100 Guyana across the river. Yes. Obviously it's quicker, right? Yeah, so it's, like I said, 50 cents uh, US, 100 Guyana dollars to cross the river. Um, a boat like this typically will have at least uh, I guess 30 passengers uh, making it across every day. And it's much quicker than using the bridge yeah. because the bridge, due to traffic, you know, you may end up taking anywhere from 20 to an hour and a half this is a uh, to get across the bridge. Whereas with the boat, it's anywhere from seven to 12 minutes just to get from Starbrook to Freedom Hope. Obviously, you'll have to figure out the transportation on either side. Thank you. So this is a nice little ship. You were saying the channel here. Um, that's why you don't find like um, big ships, but small ships, because it's not that deep. Unlike the Caribbean, we have the big cruise ships. But it's one of the, um, you know, container ships. So this is the Gaisuka Sugar Terminal since the 1970s. So, okay. That's why you'll see that structure there. So the arm will move back and forth along the tracks so that they can load the ship uh, even the grain or the, the sugar is stored raw in okay. the of the vessel. There you so, have it. This is a front view of the um, Demerara, Harbor, Demerara River right here. We go into the bridge, you got a boat passing right now. Check it out. That's babe right now, taping for the TikTok. Is it, is it a TikTok, babe? Why is it TikTok? You better hold on to your phone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a boat passing right here. Inside here, you can't see it. Right, right. So this boat right here just came out of the Metabank Wharf, going fishing out in the Atlantic. It comes back, it goes back in there, and you can sell wholesale from, you can buy it wholesale there. We're approaching the Demerara Harbor Bridge right here. There's traffic. It's now about 4.20 p.m. But it, as you notice, there's the high, well, that's for the high-rise bridge of the building. And over there is um, West Coast Demerara. But yeah, traffic on the bridge, man. But we're going close, so we have to pass underneath. So the bridge was built when? So the bridge uh, was commissioned in 1978. I believe construction started in 1976. So a while ago. Yeah. So we're in 2024, <laughs> yeah, right? We're in 2024. So about about 46 years uh, of the bridge's life. Uh, when it was initially constructed, it was only intended to last for 10 years. But here we are, so many decades later, and the bridge still serves. So uh, whoever built the bridge had good um. What should I say? Good um machinery and they did go a good job you could engineering. An engineering marvel because at the time when the bridge was built there were not very many cars on the road right and now they have uh, more cars than people in guyana that's how <laughs> i see it right probably but yes. um it, certainly you have daily perhaps in uh i'd estimate in excess of twenty thousand vehicles crossing the bridge every single day wow and wow. during rush hour yeah there's so much traffic that you'll have to Close off one side, so they have uh, double lane traffic going in one direction. So, like this evening, and here we go on under the bridge. One lane, and you have double lane going from uh, east to west on the bridge. And then in the morning, it's still mm. west to east. Uh, Makes sense. Lane Makes sense. This is under the bridge, under the Demerara Harbor Bridge right now. And here's a glimpse of it right here. And as you said, the bridge opens sometimes and for one-way traffic on each side different times and what you guys are seeing over there is a new Demerara bridge that they're building the high span bridge yes yeah, so the new Demerara bridge Demerara river bridge that's going to be a permanent high span bridge what you're looking at there is where the high span is going to be um, that high span is going to allow large vessels that typically would have had to come through the retractor span here to pass uninterrupted or unimpeded that's going Correct. to allow vehicular traffic to continue uninterrupted as well as uh, marine traffic. Here's from a different angle, the Demerara Harbor Bridge. But um, as you can see, this is the newly, well it's not done yet, they start construction 
hopefully by next year the following year but it went a, a very good way so far wow look how high them banners on top here by walking yeah i can see them working it's a high span bridge babe like how you have class kiosker bridge and stuff well i'm not sure i can make a phone call and find out <laughs> what it is whoever know what those glasses are those blue thing right there what is it for i'm not sure but no one says crcc and maybe in chinese is the same thing but this is how it looks so the bridge is in progress the bridge is in progress wow where the lights are over there as you can see they're about you can see it right there that's the um, Providence National Stadium right there. Right there. They're close to Providence. And there's Princess Hotel right here. Ramada Princess. Yeah, I see it. This is the Riverview Angle. Ramada Princess Hotel. Right. In the boat continue. So you pass in the next um, fishing place right here. A lot of fishing boats, man. And right there, that's a, that's is the um, you have a bridge. So we're going slow. Hopefully, you're gonna find a scarlet ibis. I see they got some board on the tree. Oh, look at those. What are those white board? Crane. Crane? Oh, wow, crane. But it's very quiet. Wait a minute, take a Yeah, I have a light jacket on, sure. It's not blue water. It's gold water, you know. That's it's got gold barker. It's gold water you can swim in. Anyways, you're trying to catch a board. Like, when I catch it to, like, you know. Yeah, I know what I mean, right? Looking for scarlet tibis. But they're actually not. Oh. Um, so, among those white birds, the majority of them are egrets. The very large one is a great egret. The, the front one, like, in front there, the big one. Yeah, that's a, that's a great egret. Some of these smaller ones to your right with the yellow on the crown and the yellow on the back those are cattle egrets okay. and then the all over white ones with black bills those are snowy egrets but also in between those there are also some young herons the few species of heron when they're juveniles they're actually colors are their um, coloration in the feathers as they mature so like you'll see a tricolored heron here uh, right. you, you see that there's a gray one right here right yeah, like that, a gray. That one that has oh it's the white. same as those yes. No, no, it's not the same, it's, oh. but it's, it's a tricolored hair. Um, and this is two scarlet tibis flying right here. I, I catch you though, that's good. Yeah, that one is still there over much taller because as they eat their diet of crustaceans, that's when that brilliant red color. The scarlet tibis, wow. Well. Yes. If you were to capture one and feed it something else. This is it right here, if you guys can color. see it. Really? Yeah, so the, so the brilliance of the, uh, the predator. Check that one out here. Yeah. yeah. It won't be nice, it'll be the exact same. But All right, part of the tour, same. guys, we get like refreshments. And this is my kind of refreshments rum. They got Eldorado, five year old, a bottle of Chardonnay, Banks beer, um, a juice. They got a Cena, uh, Canada Dry, and it's Coke if you drink Coke. Plus, I like the um, hot towel, not hot towel, it's the cold towel yes. to cool you off. Right, and then you know, they got some snacks for us. So we're gonna chill here for a little bit. Do some bird watching. Do some bird watching. So Leon, big up yourself if you see this. You buy for Adam bird watching right now. And um, I think I spot the scarlet type is right there. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there amongst all these other birds right here. All right, so snacks today. Babe's having a bank's beer, but here what happened? This guy had a finest right here. Five year old. And I tried to go to all today. I ain't never gonna make it, but I have a strong for that one make it, right? But yes, once again this store here was bought to us by um Discover Guyana. Guyana Tourism Authority. Thank you so much, the whole team. So far this morning, which was on the other vlog before, everything was nice and these guys are very um Omari and I have um Ronald and some well, very nice guys, you know, to take your time with us. Because you know me, moderation, right? I ask a thousand questions. 
But yeah, time to drink up, all right? And Omari is from Wilderness. Yes, Omari Explorers. is from Wilderness. Explorers. Yes, yes. Good guy. Only thing is it's cricket season in Marathon St. Lucia. So you make a little problems, you understand? So, but it's all fun, it's all fun. All right, cheers. In the meantime, you're watching for board. This is a tower, tower board right here. Check it out. Lyman, Lyman. Tower, tower. There's three more scarlet tibis came on the tree. And I'm zooming in, I'm not sure if you guys can be able to see it. But the three uh, red bird, that's scarlet tibis. I'm zooming back out. Check it out, man. There's more birds coming. And as Omari uh, rightfully said, birds of a, fledder, a feather flock together. So I ain't seen them starlet, them starlet ibis in flocking together too close. But the white birds, they're together for now. But they're coming in one by one. The scarlet ibis, the red birds. Right there. They got three, one coming, three brand new ones came in from work. They're gonna go home, watch some TV, watch a YouTube channel. Right there, so the red scarlet type is coming in. And the rest is says egrets, right babe? Yeah, egrets. They got one more just coming home from work. Flying, flying. Plenty red birds coming in now. Babe, you bored watching? Yeah. Babe bored watching. What do you think so far about this part of the tour? Very calming, very nice. Not donkey parade, right? No. And some days you don't have to donkey parade. No. Babies here watching. It's beautiful, though, guys. It's very beautiful, especially the red Fine birds. Nature, yes, especially the red birds between the um the white birds. Really beautiful. Check what's going on here. The whole family about to come up here, boy. Wow. They're coming in one by one, two by two, three by three. They're coming in. Beautiful sight though. So this part of the tour was to watch the birds over there. Right there. While the sun setting. So let me show you guys the sunset. However, the cloud in um really the cloud the cloud covers the sun. But yeah, I know that I saw, I saw a freaking man, right? Look why there. Babe they're fun fun. I can swim. But babe, danger? Babe danger? love danger. Anyway, this is your honeymoon. You come for watch board. Um, you just got married. You come for watch board. Watch, and the sunset is right behind us. But it's overcast right now. So yeah. So you can't we're really still see. happy though. We're still very fortunate, very, very fortunate blessed, and very happy. Yes. Being out here, enjoying. Well, it's this. both moving, moving so much. I mean, foot. You're in water, babe. That's true. That's true. That's West Coast, the Marara. But the sun is, is setting, um, water very calm. But yeah, we're right here. There's, look, look what's going on here, look. Oh, they're flying in, they're flying in. The, um, yeah, look, in. flying in, flying in, flying in. See them there? They're going straight from the tree. Look how much birds is on here. Oh, they're flying their way. They're looking at the sunset too. Yeah, they got a, they got a good view too. I know, I know. So there's more birds coming in as you can see more of the red birds it's very beautiful to watch with the natural eye plenty birds babe imagine i got a little um pillet going here it's dinner lunch breakfast lunch dinner but no i'm just joking but it's beautiful the scenery a lot of birds look at it one more time bird galore They gotta catch these birds, but look at it, hey boy. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. More birds. That was a big spot. Plenty, babe. Just Bev, now you like it, right? Yeah. It's really, really so nice. So calming, so nice. I'm not a bird watching person, but this is really look nice. Look at these right on top. Oh, look more. They're coming, in, they're coming in, man. They're coming in, they're coming in, they're coming in. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Nature has its best. And the bus just flying again, but by the time you leave, it's up. By the time we leave, the red will outdo the, the white. Yeah, yeah, that's what it seems like, right? But again, birds of a feather flock together. So the white one's matching me today. 
That's why I go over there and sit with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are we heading back to um, the port of the Marara? Oh, that's the board right there. It was fun while it lasts. The sun set while well, the sun, the cloud, um, it didn't roll with us today, but at least we catch a little glimpse of the sunset on the Demarara um, River. So we're heading back to the port, but uh, this is a, a scene of the the new Demarara Bridge. I'm not sure what they're gonna call it, but whoever's watching this vlog, yeah, I can call it for Rod Bridge, please. And this is the opening for the ships to pass once it's done. And this is um, the East Coast Demarara. Hopefully I'm saying that right, the East Coast. The Span, and that's the West Coast. Matter of fact, I think I'm lying. It's West Bank, I think. Coast is in the front. This is the bank. Sorry. There's the East Bank here. Yes. And then there's the West Bank over there. It's from a closer angle. Things happening by. And right there is the um, other side. The bill got for bridge, you know. Look, people are on top there the walking. Bridge got for the bill. bridge got for bill. I had one too many drinks, but it's part of the tour. It's just me backwards, right? Yeah. There's actually people on top there working right now. And as you can see, that's where the bridge is gonna start. Come, come, and you gotta join up right on top there. And then over that side. Coming soon. My money done right now, but once I get back on money, you're gonna start construction of the bridge. Uh, let me show you all the, the, the um, old bridge which is still functioning right here and where this high span is that's where normally we tracks but this is the Demarara Harbor Bridge right here going all the way across over that side so we're taking a tour close towards the um, West Bank Demarara We're passing underneath the bridge. Yep. You underneath the bridge, girl. Touch it, touch it. It's underneath the Demarara Harbor Bridge. You can hear the vehicles crossing. Wow. The babe can't reach, she can't reach. Alright, this is the other side. On the bridge. See vehicles crossing over. So we're approaching back um, Georgetown by Starbrook Market in the back. There's the boat, there's the co-pilot right here. And this is the um, behind Starbrook Market right here. The next boat going out. But check it out, man. There's big boats right here. There's workers in the boat. And this is one going back on the other side, right here. And this is Starbrook Market in the back. This is Makur right here, man. We're leaving. Thank you guys so Thank much. You. Was well informative. We're heading out. Ever. Yes, 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 definitely. Everybody, everybody. Was Thank chill, was so chill, much. right? Yes. yes. We just came back um, from our trip, but we're hungry. Um, we having, um, babe, what are you having here? Our Grand Coastal House Fry Rice. Rice and uh, ketchup, achar, and um, pepper sauce. Yes, guys, if you do want to eat your fry rice with um, ketchup, ketchup is your body, achar. you can take that in. <laughs> and then they have um, chicken curry, rice. fry rice, sorry, rice, rice and dal. dal. Yes. And some salad. And salad, and I'm having um, a, a nice cold bunks. And babe is having a mojito. And you guys saw Babe was on a, we were in a commercial with um, Grand Coastal and a couple of drinks, which was good. Yeah, I might try one just now. Yes, however, um, let's eat the food for us, Babe, and then we can close the vlog out because you guys saw what we did today, but we're going to go eat because I'm hungry. Very, Very long, long day. Today. So we eat on yellow taste test on this here. Then we're going to close the vlog out. Babe, how's your fried rice? Good. What, what do you like about it? I like everything about it. 
Okay. How's your chicken curry? Well, let me show you how good I am here. Proper dal with chicken and salad. It's really good. Get back so the uh, chicken curry is. Mm. I know for me, a little touch spicy. For you? I like pepper. This is this is sir, what the gravy? You got a kick to it. Plus I add pepper. Bravo. So wait a minute. You can't do that. What do you mean? You, you said for you a little spicy. And then you add pepper? No, I add pepper the rice, but it's the, the gravy itself. Fried to the pepper is spicy. Spicy bad or spicy good? No, well I babe try it, but I think I can handle it. And then you but you act them like you're complaining, but then you add pepper, so I'm kind of confused with what you're saying. No, no, what I'm saying, this by itself, you need to eat pepper sauce with it. But you add pepper. I add pepper. But you yeah. sound like you were complaining about the spice level on the curry. Are you complaining? Not really, but um, it's a little hot. You don't need pepper to eat for this thing. But you add pepper. I didn't know. Okay. And it's done. Oh yeah, it's really good. I'll let you taste it, babe. I will. Yeah. But the food is really good. Well, now it's babe turn. Um, I guess I'm having um, babe. Tell me, food spicy or no? I think for us having an off date today. To me, it's fine. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe you're tired, and um, it does have nice it has flavor. Perfect flavor to me. Spicy. It's not bland. It's it has all the flavor. That's all I like to say. Flavor. I, I don't. A, a, plane, a plane just like off there by the sorry guys so i um maybe he's just having a the for curry a is done the curry drinks, is done for a guy who drinks pepper sauce i don't know what just happened apologize um but yeah anyways guys we're gonna close the vlog out now it happen, um, tired my face um yeah the chicken curry Babe says it's um, not spicy, but maybe I'm off. But yeah, um, it's very flavorful. We eat at all the food. The fried rice is slamming. I like the fried rice um, because I'm a, a fried rice lover. However, this is part two of the vlog with the whole um, touring where we went to the sunset and uh, see all the birds. Check out part one. Both vlogs was on um, Thursday, but it was so much content. We had to make it into two vlogs. However, baby and I we were talking. Um, what were you saying? Um, it's so informative that um, we don't want to leave anything out. Babe, did you know all this exists about Guyana? Um, I could say that I don't know much about Guyana. I could say that I don't know because I left Guyana when I was 14 years old. But even as a grown Guyanese, trust me, you guys don't know half of the things we're going to say. Everything has a meaning in Guyana. Every arch, everything has a meaning. And I actually appreciate the guys. Carlos did an amazing, amazing job. Anything you asked him, he had an answer. And not just an answer. An answer you're like, wow. I, I, I just love my country even more. And it's very like joking also, which I like. You've got a um, sense of humor, which is cool. And his driver, Timothy, Timothy to man. Timothy's a bit shy, yes. but he's cool. So this, this country has so much history yeah. and so much to learn. However, I those encourage anyone who want to take the trip, take the However, trip. we're so tired. Timothy and um, Carlos is not on this vlog. They're in the previous vlog. Right, because we had... We had today, we had um, Omari and... Oh, if you can remember, uh, the captain. The captain and the co-captain. And, co and also Omari had, a, Omari had a driver. So shout out to them So grim, too. Michael, so, grim. so Oh yeah, so grim, the man is so grim. <laughs> so grim was the driver and Omari was the um, the tour guide. Um, he was very knowledgeable about birds and you know. He and Terry did a cloud to cover up the sun for the sunset though. Anyways. Um, Thank you guys. I actually enjoy watching the birds more than I even yes. wanted to watch the sunset. Yeah, the Scarlet Ibis, we know. Uh, what's, up, what's the beret thing, baby? It's the one. Scarlet Ibis is the, is the red one. Yeah, but um, thank you guys again. Both yes. vlogs, it was... I don't know if it's boring for you guys or too long. 
but I enjoy my day. I really, really, I'm pleased with today. Very pleased. Yeah, if, if you didn't watch, the, if you watch this one, then go watch the first one. Please go check it yeah, out. Um, Ghana yeah. has a lot to offer, a lot. And again, both vlogs um, happened on Thursday. We want to say thank you to um, uh, Guyana, Discover Guyana. Discover Guyana. That's, that's Guyana Tourism Authority for um, uh, giving us the opportunity. To do this. Right. On the next vlog, we're going to leave you guys here now and we'll say goodbye. We're going to Kaichur. We're going to Kaichur Falls. And that also was that also sponsored by Guyana. That also is sponsored by Discover Guyana. Which is Guyana Tourism Authority. Yes. So um, they reach out to us and we're very, very appreciative. And then maybe a next vlog, we're going to Essie Cribo. That also... Um, Discover, yes. so in, in collaboration with them. Yeah. We appreciate them for yes, setting all of this up for us. Hit the so like. We can show you guys. Hit the like, share, and what? Subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you again so much. Ghana is beautiful. Ghana is beautiful. And it's hot. All right? Hot doesn't like nice hot. Not climate hot. You just sweat a little bit, but you'll be okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. That is why it's important that as Guyanese, we make decisions based on the fact. Thank you. Good evening. And remember, we have to stick to the fact. I'm a real Guyanese. From the time when I step on the scene to the moment I leave. I'm a real Guyanese. From the red to the black to the gold to the white to the green. I'm a real Beautiful faces, put your hand them in the air if you're not racist. I pledge myself to honor always. I will never disgrace this. Then want peace, how we map. Wait your mother's. We not get you that. No, no, not one caress. Not a blade of grass. Listen up. 83,000 square miles. Oh my god, we find oil. Me not tell you no lie. Diana, nice, but atmosphere for my life. Land of many waters, bring out all the leaders in the sun, them and the daughters. If you want to see we fall, no, no, not at all. I'm a real guy you need. From the time when I step on the scene to the moment me leave. I'm a real guy you need. From the red to the black to the gold to the white to the green. I'm a real guy you need. And nothing can change me. Say so nothing can change me. I'm a real guy you need. I live living in a foreign country. Say so nothing can change me. Big up, stop, bro. Hello, it's half crook. It now is pretty, so now bad I try act show. Got a big of GRM, me know I'm a tax slow. And when me have the money, me can go for my bank book. Beautiful Guyana, we die in South America. Land of Kai Choi, the flora and the fauna. Independent people, so we do what we wanna. Never violate the car, you could become a Ghana. Them love we country, all the foreigners, them children salute you. In the Indian temp, love we bar that we know want no problem. Never fall, we forever standing. Me love how God make ya, we we'll never forsake ya Unique in every way, could I never mistake ya If Guyana was a girl, we surely would date ya That's why them won't take ya I'm a real guy you need From the time when I step on the scene to the moment me leave I'm a real guy you need From the red to the black to the gold to the white to the green I'm a real guy you need And nothing can change me Say nothing can change me I'm a real guy you need I live living in a foreign country Say nothing can change me
country or in GT They can never divide me one Guyana One Guyana We gotta stand together Six different culture They can never divide me one Guyana